as you can hear as soon as I open my mouth, I'm not American. <laughs> you may be able to guess where I come from. Germany. I'm French. <laughs> Germany. <laughs> Are you thinking that I eat frog legs and snails? Yes. Are you assuming that I wear a beret and carry a baguette every day? Mm -hmm. I may stick to some of those stereotypes, but this is not how I deeply feel as a person. Let me tell you a little bit more about myself. Madame Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and very welcome guests. Actually, I would define myself as a person of contrasts. I don't want to obfuscate the picture. <laughs> but it's, about, it's a little like the yin and the yang, black and white, hot and cold. Tonight, I'm going to give you just two examples of the opposing dualities I have to cope with. The first one is about me as a kid and as a young adult. <coughs> I was born in a very traditional family. I've always lived in the same house, in the same place. When I was born, my parents were quite old. They were nearly 40, which was not so common at that time in the 60s. At school, my classmates used to repeatedly remind me, your mom is old. <laughs> On top of that, my parents had a very strict and harsh principle of education. My sisters and I were not allowed to go to a friend's house and play. We would have to stay at home, do our homework, help our parents, or simply get bored. It was forbidden to have fun. We would hardly have any social contacts. This is the traditional part, but here is the contrast, the first contrast. As soon as I got the opportunity, I, tr I, tr I went around the world to explore. As a student in the university, I went to Spain for a few months. There, I learned Spanish, and I discovered the Spanish culture and people. A, a year later, I moved to the US for one year in an internship for IBM. There, of course, I improved my English and I got to know the American people. It was during the Reagan years and the country was moving fast. You all remember that probably as much as I can. I discovered some new things, hamburgers, <laughs> big cars, cheap gasoline, but most importantly to me, the need to have fun and enjoy life. As an adult, my contrast did not disappear. And I'm going to just explain to you what I'm experiencing today as a second example of the contrasts. On the one hand, I have a very stable family life. I have a wonderful husband, so wonderful that he succeeded in moving the whole family to the US for a few years. I have three nice kids, demanding care of att and attention, of course, like any kids, but so kind and rewarding. That's the stable part of it. But here is the contrast. On the professional side, I'm currently in a big move. I've always been very interested. I, I used to work uh, in a very big bank, European bank in Paris, uh, in risk assessment. But I felt that this was not corresponding to my deep personality. Actually, I've been interested in environmental matters and sustainability for many years. Let me just give you a very personal example that make my American friends laugh. I don't use the dryer to dry my clothes at home. 
I hang them on the line. <laughs> that saves energy. Okay. And that avoids CO2 emissions. Here in the US, my friends laugh when they see that I have devoted the former dining room to the drying of my clothes hanging on the line there. <laughs> As I said, I'm currently, I have decided to change my professional orientation. For a few months, I've been working as a consultant. I assess, industrial, I assess environmental impacts of industrial companies and industrial processes. It can be different types of impacts. It can be global warming impacts, it can be water impacts, water consumption, all types of impacts. As you can imagine, I'm learning a lot about what is good and bad for the environment. However, this change is not always smooth. Sometimes I doubt. I wonder whether I'll be able to reach the same level of knowledge than the one I had previously as a banker. So as you see, stable family life, quite rattled professional change. To conclude, I would say that my life is definitely a life of contrast. However, what deeply drives my actions and my ambitions is very clear to me. I love the planet and I love its people. I love being here in the US. I love being here with you tonight and sharing this little part of myself. Well, if you want to come back to the French stereotypes, I must tell you that I sometimes eat frog legs and snails <laughs> and that I love that. Madame Toastmaster.